Hey guys, this is Fat Ninja from Rogue Reapers Airsoft Team. Uh, here again to give you a little quick review over a, a gun I've had for a little bit now. It's done pretty good by me. Hadn't had any really great issues out of it. Um, HK416 uh, VFC Avalon gearbox in it, or VFC gearbox, which is in most of your Avalons. Um, you know, pretty stand up stuff, pretty rock on stuff. They, uh, this has got the Giselle Gazelle, not even sure how you say it, I'll be honest with you. But I like the way it looks, and uh, adds a little heft to it. You know, it is what it is. I like it. Nice gun. Um, easy foregrip, simple, nothing huge. Uh, stand up rifle. Uh, I've had this one for a little while now. It's run several big games for me, uh, and, and been a hammer in all of them. The only upgrades it really has is a Maple Leaf Bucking, which I run, and most of my guns, to be honest, just because it's simple, and I upgraded the motor a little bit because I had a noise issue, which I wasn't real keen on, and I upgraded the spring to a 125, and we're pretty much shooting limit right there. Um, like it. Love it. It's been a great gun. Uh, the only huge issue I had out of this was uh, I kept breaking spring guides. Um, this has got a quick change spring in it, pretty, you know, standard in your VFC stuff as far as that goes, but, uh, the, the HK is a little bit different. They, uh, they made it accessible through the buffer tube, which is fantastic. You, uh, come in here, you take a bolt out, um, of course you get your battery out of the way, you know, which I can't freaking do. There we go. You take the battery, battery end off. Um, collapse it down where it's quick and easy to get to and you go right through the tube right here there's a screw down in the middle and you take that screw out and that takes an aluminum block out and that leaves access to a uh, the quick change spring itself which has I think a allen head in the back of it which you can use a long extension on or a special tool whatever you want to use that being said past that is a regular quick change spring for VFC or, or you know Avalon gearboxes um, so that being said, since you don't have to take the gearbox out and it's not set in there and it's set against the back on something, it's basically a clear hole right through here. And I broke three spring guides in the course of, shoot, like two months. Um, and no, I'm not easy on my guns. I mean, that was running full auto with some local stuff for a while and, but I wasn't like hammering down on it either. It broke your spring guides. So, when it does that, basically, since there's nothing else attached in here, it would send the spring shooting out toward my battery. And, um, yeah, and then it quits working. Yeah, definitely quits working. So, they do make an upgraded, upgraded spring guide. The new ones might come with that upgraded spring guide. I'm not positive, but this one did not. Um, the the factor ones are just there i'm not sure what kind of metal they're made out of but it wasn't stout enough for it so the new spring guides were made out of some kind of stainless steel or something i'm not positive but they're supposed to stand up so if you're lucky enough to find one and be able to get the upgraded spring guide then you are rock solid you can leave your setup the way it is put that thing in the hole and after you replace it you shouldn't have a problem with it at all from what i understand i could not put my hands on an upgraded spring guide. So, um, what I did is there's an aluminum block inside this buffer tube, right? Um, and that aluminum block is attached to the spring guide at the front and it kind of sandwiches two things together. So, uh, to keep from breaking the other spring guide or actually to be able to use the spring guide without the ears on it at all, um, I drilled a hole here and I drilled a hole here and then I tapped it and put screws in it. So basically the aluminum block that's inside this buffer tube is attached to this buffer tube via the two bolts, one on this side and one on the opposite side in the same place. Um, you can't go all the way through, right through the middle. Like, you, you know, oh, you could just drill a hole through the middle and then put a bolt and put a put a, a nut and a bolt through it and have the nut on one side and bolt on the other. You can't really do that. You can't do that because there's a bolt that goes through the middle that holds that spring guide in place to that aluminum block. Um, 
so you can't go all the way through it. But you can tap into it and run bolts in it, and that holds the aluminum block in place. Once that aluminum block is held in place and the spring guide is screwed to it, it can't go anywhere. You can break them ears all day long. You put it, in fact, what's in there right now has no ears at all. It's just bolted to the back of the buffer block, and it's uh, uh, just sitting in the buffer tube and held in place for those two bolts. That being said, what I want to do is go in and figure out a way to tap the end of it so I can adjust the spring guide on that aluminum block so I can adjust feet per second to limit simply by going down the buffer tube with a uh, uh, with a bolt tool, depending on what kind of bolt I end up running through the end of it to attach it to. And I think it will work. I just gotta do it. That being said, that's future plans. So for now, HK416, uh, it's been a really gun, been a really good gun for me. <laughs> it's been a really good gun for me. Um, it's performed well, it's done well. Uh, it's got really good solid feels to it as far as your mag releases and stuff. One other thing, it has a huge mag release right there, right? And I know it doesn't look like it's that big a deal, but if you let your gun hang, going back to spawn, and it hits your vest the wrong way, you will drop mag. It will hit the release, and the mag will fall out. So you have to pay attention to it. I may end up changing that over, because I hardly ever use the mag release on that side anyway. Always use it here. Um, pet peeve. Past that, it's been a great gun, man. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, let me know what y'all have done to fix that problem besides buying the uh, upgraded spring guy that I can't find because I can't find it. Um, but, you know, let me uh, let me know what y'all run on you on y'all's 416s. Let me know how you like this gun or a gun like it. And, uh, you know, if y'all have ideas on the buffer tube thing or if you've done something like that where you can adjust your buffer tube, buffer tube spring guide for uh, feet per second, Hit me up. Show me some videos. But, uh, yeah. Hope this helped y'all out. Fat Ninja from Rogue Reapers. I will see y'all in the field.